Divine is an ultimate angel in the room right now because who doesn't love Divine? I mean, is there anyone that doesn't love Divine? And this is Stephanie. Stephanie, you are an incredible artist. I mean, you painted Thank you. this. How long does it take to make something like this amazing? Oh, it's a, it depends how, how much, uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> fill in the blank. It depends, uh, you know, every painting's different. Um, sometimes my reference material might be a little bit hard to obtain and, you know, I might have to kind of uh, improvise a bit, but, you know, every painting's different. Now, what, what, like, what's your connection with Divine? Well, yes, I want my ex let's, let's, let's wait, wait, back up a minute. I always consider myself a drag queen trapped in a woman's body. Oh my god! Oh. You're the only other person I've heard that said that besides me. Yeah. Seriously? I'm dead serious. Oh, fabulous. I, I just see it's a psychic connection. I, I, I Wow, I, you can see she's really like I know, in shock. Well, see, I have two. You said that? that? I've, I've said got my every day. Art wow. Art. wow. And I have my drag look. So obviously I'm not painting like You're not this. alone. I'm not alone anymore. Yay. Yeah, I've come out on the Rick show. Oh, yay. Yay. Oh. Let's have a party. Yeah, well, yeah. we're going to always have a party. Oh, Unicorns. Yeah. We celebrate yeah. everything. Nice Thank day. heaven for 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's, that's right. So um, look at you. You're freaking gorgeous. Thank I you. Mean, so who are you today? Carol Channing? <laughs> Carol Channing. No, <laughs> actually, Carol I, I have been actually accused of having the Carol Channing hair, but... Um, no, you know, I'm just Goldie I'm doing, I'm just doing me. Okay. I'm just doing me. Like, so if you were a drag queen, like, who would you be? You? Probably. Okay. <laughs> that works. Who I mean, I have the, the red Garland. hair. Garland. I, I, I can yes. see it. I can totally see you being. You look like Judy Garland. Or, or maybe Jackie O, but I guess oh, I can see that too. a lot because she's not really a performer, but. Well, I want to be Jackie O. I mean, Judy Garland. If you were Jackie O, you would be dead. I'd be That's dead. okay. That's so there are dead people that are. Yeah. Dumb. I mean, well, who would you want to be? Well, I would like to be a slimmed down version of Divine, but. Uh, oh, you know, I've actually, I've so actually. Is this being you in a way? No, that's actually the younger version of Divine when it, when Divine did Pink Flamingos. Yes. Yes. Pink, when when Girl Divine did Pink was... Flamingos, Divine had a very uh, statuesque figure, and as you know, his career went along. You know, I got bigger and bigger and bigger. So, I mean, I have paintings that that you saw. Yes. On on the um, you know, my little. What was your show. first divine movie? Really? Was it Pink Flamingos? I, I saw Girl yeah, Trouble. Yeah, it, it was Pink Flamingos. But my favorite is Female Trouble. Female Trouble. I, 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 said I girl love trouble. the scene when Divine has like sex with Divine. Yeah. It's like it's like crazy, and he plays this like really trouble. gross That's out the way man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Actually, I have some of those paintings uh, were inspired from Female Trouble. There's a painting of Edith. Mass. Edith, Edith yeah. was a trip, man. I know, I love her outfit too. Oh my love God. Her, like, cheese hanging out. <laughs> God, so that was like, was that 70s or 80s? I think that was um, 70s, 80s. 80s right? Maybe early 80s. Well, we, well, no, I think it was the 70s. I, you know what, I think 70. so too, because Divine passed away in the 80s. It was before you had to be 21 to do anything. Oh, yes. Honey, I did 21. I did things way before 21. 21. I know, exactly. I couldn't wait for that thing. And besides, what I'm, Oh, I don't want to give up my Where'd you grow up? All over New York State. I was born in Memphis, Tennessee. That's wow, right. so Tennessee I'm a little southern right? Okay. But I grew up all over New York State. I moved to New York City when I was 20. I just got so sick and tired of living in this town in upstate New York. I was the only chick wearing, like, black lipstick. Yeah. And it was like, I used to this sell town it. was freaking white bread, boiled potato, and mayonnaise. It was just, I mean, I had the only Italian last name. It was like, come on. They're like, the rigatoni jokes, and ha <laughs> pasta. I, I get it, right? You know? I love so I had pasta. to go to New York. I mean, the cultural capital of the world. It is. Yes. It is. I it's mean, my favorite city. It's the best city. Exactly. So, um, how long have you been painting? Oh, wow. I've been painting since I was about eight years old. I'm self-taught. Um, when I moved to New York City, I stopped painting for about 15 years. Because then, I assumed my other identity is Mistress Fuchsia. And I was a nightclub promoter. I booked all kinds of fashion shows, bands, and things like that. I had a TV show. Maybe some of you remember Mr. Spuch's Rock and Roll Kitchen. This is yes. where you freaking Rachel. Were you remember? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 It's me. <laughs> well, this is before Rachel Ray and all these other people. Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? But there was me and this other like uh, drag queen, and Lady Bunny had her show going I on. I love Lady. And then there was that naked, uh, that naked. Check, what was her name? Robin Bird. Robin Bird. Robin Bird. I met her. her. I was like, put a nigga in the stuff. kitchen. I mean, hello. I, love you, man. I just uh, met her. We did not want a grease fire during the, you know, nudity. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> so we're you like, the bush is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> 
And it's what was, your, huh? what was your favorite dish to make? Oh my god, I love food so much. Oh, I mean, you guys don't look like you like food. I totally love food. Are you kidding? I, I love oh food. I mean, come on, it's blueberry. But I like to have like one really like kick-ass meal a day. What did you eat today? Did you have it yet? I had an egg roll, some black beans with some like a like a salad thing. And iced tea, that was it. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Probably gonna have like something after, but you know, as for your kick ass meal. I'm waiting for the kick ass meal. What, I mean. what was your kick ass oh, meal yesterday? God. Yesterday, oh, I went, I went down to Asbury Park to drop off my next show. Which oh, is oh, over. Where is that? It's actually a group show, and it's um, at Cookman Street at, at a gallery called Heaven, honey. Nice, <laughs> nice. You know, it's like, it's so cool when you say, you know, you meet somebody, it's like, oh, it's so nice meeting you in heaven last night. And, you know, <laughs> maybe in the 80s I was down in hell, but now I'm in heaven. I redeem myself. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> so, um, does Bruce Springsteen shop at heaven? I don't know where he shops. He's from Ellsbury Park. Yeah, he is. But doesn't he live on a farm? He probably does. But farm animals. You know. Right. You, <laughs> you know, know. Making sounds and doing strange things. So, in the so barnyard. when was the first time you sold a painting? First time I sold something, I was about 17 years old. It was for this guy. I had to do this sign for like Payne Weber. And I was going out with this much older gentleman at the time. But anyways, it was a sign for that. But... I mean, I sell my work, you know, people, they fall in love with something, they buy it, and we'll make it work out, so. That's awesome. Yeah. So, like, how how long does it take you to, to do a portrait, like, something like this? You know, it all depends. I mean, it's like, depend, like I said before, it's like, one, really, one. like, how many hours I'm going to sit down. Sometimes You're I, like, so real. bang these things out in, like, a few days. Yeah, it's like a song, I guess. You can some it's come in a minute and some come in months. Sometimes I can paint, like, four paintings at a time now, and just like boom like in, within a week it's done and other times it's like things like drag and yeah. slag and they're dragging and slagging and dragging and it's like oh my god do you god. ever like totally like paint something and then you're not happy with it and oh, I've done that thing. before I've taken a whole no, section of my oil with a rag and just <laughs> there goes ten hours but so if something bothers me I better fix it and fix it now so what kind of artist um, are you inspired by like I had a feeling you were going to ask that question oh my god inspired by I don't know I mean it's like actually other artists really don't I can't say like really other artists inspire me it's people it's you know uh, yeah the glitz and the glamour and the fabulous and the weird and the creepy and the you know the obscure and it's not like the skinny chick it's a fat chick I'm sorry you know it's like you know I'll be walking down the street and going She's a model. Why? Nice. She's like, you know, she's got a big ass. It's like, you know, <laughs> I'm Mario. Dog. But Donkey Kong. Ex exactly, exactly. It's all about that, you know. It's like, you know, the skinny little one is like, yeah, over in the corner. I'm sorry, but, you know. What music do you listen to when you're painting? Wow, okay. Um, I know a couple of people are going to be pissed off when I answer this, but it's like, okay, WFUV. I'm a huge, like, Fubbo fan. Well, they have a thing called Fubbo. I'm a, I'm like an FUV fan. Yeah. And they have like the They're alternate great. side. Yeah, exactly. They're playing like the, the music that's here and now. It's a great and it's not like the same old old Stairway to Heaven like fifteen thousand times. You know, it's like. Do you like Britney Spears? I'd like to barf on big Britney Spears, actually. I don't like Britney Spears. Oh, like that's okay. I can't stand like all the pop, like you know. I don't okay. know. It's like I like music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sorry, Britney, but. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, you'd probably like it if I puked on you now. She <laughs> might. She might. <laughs> oh, you would love that? Yeah, would Come love over that. here and tell Brittany you want to barf on her. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you barf on me? Oh, my goodness. Isn't that like a Roman shower, I think? Sounds about right. It's a Roman shower that costs $200, bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So back to Divine. Now that's definitely a Divine move, you know? Yes, it is. I'm totally inspired by Divine. I mean, look, I mean, you take a man who's 350 pounds, put him in a dress, and he's fucking gorgeous, all yes. right? I'm sorry, I cursed. That's okay. 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 That's okay. So we'll just beep it out. Well, he's, no, just, he's gorgeous, okay? He's gorgeous. Not only did he have an amazing, like, film career, but he had this amazing, like, musical personality. career, personality, yep. and it also did Chanel beauty ads. And how many people out there know that Divine did Chanel beauty ads? Come on. I mean, I didn't even know that. Well, you know it now, honey. Oh, my God. I mean, he, he her, well, actually, in every right, isn't her, yes. was like an inspiration to everybody, yes. you know? So, so what happened to that? How do we bring that back to... To, to change everybody's mental oh. problems. Of, like, I'd love to see everybody in this planet running around in drag. Yeah. It would be like my ultimate fantasy. So what <laughs> would you wear? Me? Hmm, I don't know. 
maybe I wear like drag as a man. I dress up as a like a boy or something. I like just observe. Yeah. I like RuPaul. I mean, look at right. him out of drag. He's like this little like you know. But I love him. He's like such an inspiration. Actually, Divine would be so happy right now with you know Drag Race. Yes, I I totally think so. Do I, you watch it? I love it. I'm a huge fan of the Drag Race. I Do you love ever it. watch it? Oh, of course. My kids love Latrice it. Latrice Royale. I love Latrice. She's like, I love her. She's like, like I'm large and ch charged. <laughs> she says, uh, chunky yet funky. I just love her. <laughs> That's a good line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. But so, like, um, like, are you working on anything now? Like, like in your, in your, in my mind, I'm constantly painting in my mind. But, um, yeah, I've got a couple of things I'm uh, ready to start. I've got like paintings in the files in my brain that are like all backed up. Yeah, I'm like sure. No. What no. makes you pick something to paint? Do you just like get the inspiration and well, you doing that, or, or or like is there? Sometimes I get like calls. You know, there's a call out for art, and I want to be in that show, so I'll actually make something for that show. Yeah, that's why I just like basically, you know, I've got to paint at warp speed. It's like hurry up, now, do it. You know, deadline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like you know, I do that, but you know, I have other things. There's other stuff in my head which I get out. It's like I have this. I mean, I love cats. Obviously, you know, you guys see my pussy cats. They're so Yay! cute. I love cats Thank too. you. Thank you. And it's like, you know, actually, my cat, so my Kiki, my girl, she was the inspiration behind this whole pussy cat thing. She's like a little tabby. She's got these high, thigh high boots, like white boots. She gets up on the table and she like dances. Now, <laughs> Rita over there is so, like, mm hmm. <laughs> so, you know, she Did was. Did you ever see the Aristocats? No. The movie? No, I, I love did. that movie. I probably would have loved it. Anything with Kitties is great. And yes. I, 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 it's a Finally, sweet, someone sweet agrees movie. with me. I love the Aristocats. Everything with you see it? I've got a hundred. I just eyes. love cats. Anything with cats. And Did I'm you see so cats on Broadway? I uh, no, but I've seen it on, I didn't see it on Broadway. My so kids loved mean. cats. I fell asleep. Yeah, I saw it on the television. You know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. My dad's like, all right, be quiet. Let's watch cats. Really? Yeah, my cat, dad's like, a, he's, he says, this is amazing. So do you make your own that? colors? Because I don't mix the colors. I buy paints, but I'm just like... I'm really into like making things like pop right. and just like you know. I love it. It's I like, love it. It's like when I do a piece, it's like the the composition of like the shape and then the color composition. It's got to be like really like. But intense. obviously, you are the person that can paint like a perfect portrait of anything. You wow! Can, thank you. Well, I mean, come on, they're so real. I mean, they do have that cartoon look, but. They are so real. I well, mean, I'm a big cartoony, like little Looney Tunes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! They open up my head. They see like a little man running around going, "Hey, what are you looking at in there?" You know? Yeah, <laughs> I have to say thank you to Jerry Adams because Jerry knew that we would like each other. He kind of matched us up. Yes, he did. He's awesome. Hi, Jerry. Jerry, we hey, love Jerry. you. <laughs> I know. How did you meet Jerry Adams? Oh my God! I was. Um, I used to work at Limelight, Mistress Limelight. Limelight. Yes, Rock and Roll Church, and Jerry and I, used I to work worked at the Ritz. With Jerry sitting on the Ritz. Was Jerry, Jerry in Jerry. every nightclub that ever existed? He totally. probably was. Exactly. Jerry, do you know Jerry? Mr. Nightclub. Yes. You must know Jerry. Adams. You have to. You Steven. You must know hey, Jerry. Steven. No. no. Steven is like all over the place too. It's like you know they're still doing it. What Jerry's you do in fun life? I used to put a lot of fashion shows. I you know. Uh, up in the VIP room, and had all kinds of like contests, acts, and crazy things. But tons of fashion shows, Prince and some touch like my yeah. arm in the VIP room. At really? The limelight. I hung out with a guy from a. Uh, uh, I touched his arm. Marilyn Manson, and he was like really, 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 really nice. He's like really actually kind of normal and. Boring. I remember. I forgot about that. It's like all the makeup. That room upstairs with the couches and stuff. Oh, I remember that room. It, um, up in the limelight. Yeah. Up in the VIP yeah, room. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, many, many a uh, 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 fabulous night has been made in the <laughs> VIP room of the limelight. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh I'm my sure. god, the, the pumpkin pie eating contest. I was like, you know, hey, you know. Uh, I think about the shows. Do you go to any clubs? I these people tie, tie their hands behind their, all right, whoever eats a pumpkin pie first gets a gold <laughs> card to get in the limelight. It's like, you just want to know how fast people move? Yeah. It's like, and then they pick their heads up and they look at baby yeah. shit all over their well, faces. There are places <laughs> now that, that are pretty crazy. I have, yeah. I don't go, but like I know many places are pretty incredible right now, but they're making that hype again. But the they're trying to rebuild the club scene? Yes, yes, really? yes, yes. Wow. And really? there are spots that are There's really not a lot of like, uh, you know, places you can book bands anymore. I mean, there's Sullivan Hall, but it's like a lot of places. Like I used to book Here, Sidebar, Downtime, 
the uh, the bank. Remember the yeah. bank downtown? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, come on. It's like I, I used to book all these places here. and they're just gone now. It's like you know you have to you have to put your main act on at nine o'clock. We used to put our headlining act at twelve o'clock. But yeah. Bloomberg's like no more noise after ten o'clock. It's like come on, dude. Oh yeah, it's the noise. What's thing. up with this? You can't drink a giant. Giant drink, of, you can't have the super gulp anymore. You can't even smoke in clubs. It's like everything is very squeaky clean. So it is Blueberry Muffin Day. Ooh, nice. And, um, this is for when you share a skeleton from your closet. I know you have a good one. I have so many skeletons in my closet. Believe me, I've got a whole boneyard. Yay! <laughs> Can you tell us a good juicy skeleton? <laughs> Ooh, Does your spot. mind just go blank? No, I just keep... <laughs> Okay, I used to be, I don't know if there's a skeleton, it's kind of a funky story. That's good. I used to be the first, one of the first people in the 80s to wear like rubber latex outfits. And I used to walk around like it was, it was like the winter time, and I would sweat and sweat. And I had my rubber stockings on, and I'd walk and they'd go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And sometimes I get a blowout, so I used to carry like a bicycle repair kit yes. to glue it together. Uh, you know, armor all. It works. works. Yeah, for those, I used to wear a lot of rubber. Oh, uh, you know, you, there should be an expiration date on that stuff because like after ten years, it just goes. You know what armor all is? It's that like it's that stuff for like oh, tires. Yeah, it's good for rubber clothing. Well, it's good for rubber everything. Yeah. Ha -ha. <laughs> Rub her. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> well, okay. What happened in a rubber outfit with you one? I ended up in a rubber room and I went crazy one day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> oh. Any more questions? <laughs> What's your birthday? May fourteenth. I'm a Taurus, but but Fine. I was born under a full moon, which <laughs> makes my moon a Scorpio. So I'm completely <laughs> fucked up. Is that right? like two, I'm like two like opposites fighting within each That's other. That's hard. Yes. It's like half of me is like yes, and the other half says no. What do you think it's about like, Pee Wee? Do you Pee love Pee Wee Herman? I, know I love Pee Wee Herman. I think it reminds me of his, like, I can oh, see awesome. your stuff. In, you know what? You gave me an idea. I'm going to do a Pee Wee Herman painting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yes, he does. Oh, I've got to be there. Yeah. Let's go to the opening. It's not, it's it's finished me. He was on Jimmy Kimmel the other night. Yeah. And, and Pee Wee is like, I saw the play on Broadway. And I love him. I love Pee Wee too. And <laughs> he was just, you <laughs> are Pee Wee, exactly. Yeah. So like, he was saying though that um, when people ask him questions, yeah. he lies a lot. I love it. <laughs> because lying sounds much better than the truth. So he makes up a lot of messed up stories and he was telling some of his lies. Maybe that's how he got in trouble. Well no he was he was he was actually making fun of a lot of that. Uh -huh. And then and then he did say that he does have a movie coming out. It's the best one ever. It's not filmed yet, but it's finished being written and they're gonna film in the fall wow. and then it's gonna come out. So make it a Pee Wee adventure yes you. it's all about a Pee Wee's movie. Yes. 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 Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Not his love girlfriend? Missy Vaughn. Yeah. And he's putting some of his things in the, in a museum. Like uh, he said his I playhouse. His, the, 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 his big shoes. shoes. <laughs> Three things he said are going in. Um, and Large Marge. Yeah. Jambi. I forget what like Locky. His raincoat. Jambi! Sh Jambi my I forget what oh, Jambi the Jambi the, the genie. Yeah. Mecca lecka high, mecca <laughs> high. <low. laughs> Caroline, you know only everything. So, um, in a perfect world, where would you like to see your art land? Wow. In a perfect world, I'd probably like to be in one of those kind of groovy places in Chelsea, in one of those galleries nice. there. That sounds good. Yeah. Do you have a gallery in mind? Um, actually, well, I'm doing the gallery thing now, you know, but I'm not out in Chelsea yet, so, yeah, you know, give well, it some you, time. Well, you have, I, I don't see any reason why not. In a perfect you're... world, I'd probably like to be out, actually, international. Why not? It's yeah. the internet. So what's your website? How do internet? Inter International. Exactly. Yeah, baby. Exactly. So how do people find you and purchase your art? Because your art is... Well, they can go to my website or they can which find is, uh, www .s Wait, that's my... www.srigi.com. That's R-I-G-G-I. Now, do you Where drink coffee? Um, I kind of switched to tea because oh, coffee oh. makes me like really hyper and I kind of freak out. <laughs> what I'm kind like, of tea do you drink? 
I like green tea and I like oolong tea. Really? Any kind of tea, really. But caffeinated. I like caffeine, honey. I can see that. Do you well, if I'm going to paint, I need caffeine. I never drink. I just cannot drink alcohol and sit down and paint because it's like, oh, I'm going to go out or something. So you know? you're very affected by um, external influences? Totally. You have a very low tolerance to everything? No. <laughs> no. Well, you got a low tolerance for bullshit, that's for sure. Oh, I love it, I love it. It's like, you want to throw me some shit? Uh-uh, sorry. <laughs> so what would you tell someone who has artistic tendencies that wants to pursue it and doesn't think that they can do it? What would you say to someone? Don't listen to anybody. Do what you want to do and just give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, give it another shot. And if it still doesn't work, just keep going and eventually... You know, it's like the, what do they call it, the law of physics or something? If you keep doing something over and over and over and over, eventually you're going to be successful. Or you might just sell two paintings like Vincent Van Gogh and then freaking die. But then again, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, maybe even thousands of years later, everybody knows what this dude looks like, okay? He's one of the most famous artists on the planet. So What do you think about this? Either way, like it's that. like, you know what? You know, I think that's like kind of like immortality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's kind of creepy. I know. So I'm just going to keep painting and investing in my future. Well, you're so good <laughs> at it. So yeah. like, uh, how long does it take you to get dressed? Oh, it depends. If I can get my eyelashes on, like, one, two, three, or Sometimes nine. they go on so easy, right? Oh, sometimes the freaking glue goes in your eye. Ever. Ever. I know. Or, like, somebody, like, boom, 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 the door. It's like, oh, it's, like, hanging off. And it's like, oh, please. But then, you know what? A hair dryer works. A little drag trick for everybody. Put your eyelashes on, and the hair dryer low, and bingo, it works. I learned that living in South Beach, Miami, because it's so freaking hot. Yes. Oh, my God. You put your makeup on, it slides off. So you just got to, like, blow dry it. Blow dry it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you're cute. You're really cute. Oh, so, what you. kind of music are you listening to these days? I'm just curious. Um, besides FUB, like any, any, any standout? Oh, yeah, I like electronica when I'm painting. You know, it depends, like, really what mood I'm in. I mean, sometimes I like throw down some Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like, I like everything, really. Yeah. I'll listen to freaking Japanese flute music. I mean, if I'm in the mood for that, I'm in the mood for that. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I just can't stand, like, the crap that I hear up on Central Avenue in Jersey City. It's, like, the same, like, four songs, and they're like, ring, 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 ring. You can't understand what it is. Yeah, you know? I hear you. So, so music is, like, really, music and art go together very well. And sometimes I'll, like, pull out my sax, not, I'm sorry, my trombone, you know, and I'll just kind of, like... Trying to play figure out how, I'm still trying to figure out how to work that thing, but I can like belt out a couple things on it. Wow. But it's like, yeah, my I inherited it from my dad, but I used to play saxophone. I used to play wow. it very well. The trombone doesn't have any keys, and it's just like, <laughs> you know? Did you <laughs> ever hear of Charles Lefty Edwards? No. Why? Because he was a saxophonist that passed away today. Oh, that's so He's funny. He's an angel in our room. Oh. Maybe, maybe it's someone you should check out. Yeah. Maybe I should check him out. Yeah, because he's here with us today. Hey. Yeah, Lefty. Hi. Yeah, he's here. Wait, hi. And, and you said saxophone. <laughs> and, and, you know, and there he is. Uh, it's, that's crazy. How did that come out of my mouth? And it was right there. It's right there. Wow. So are there any last shout-outs you have? I mean, you're so glamorous in Thank your you. adorable, quirky way. Aww. I know. I know. Last time you saw me, I was a redhead. I know. And then I lost my keys. Oh, my God. I lost my house keys that night. You did? I ended up on my porch. I was like, oh, great. I'm home early. No problem. I have all the lights on, and I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, put the door open. I'm calling my husband. So I went in the alley, took my wig off. If anybody saw me, like, what? She's got what? <laughs> it's like, what? Uh-oh. Eventually I got in, changed the locks, but blah, 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 blah. What a uh, night that like, You think they would have known where those keys belong? I still I still think they're probably getting out of the shock of she goes in the alley, she comes out with no red right hair. What's up with that, you know? <laughs> You're superwoman. I just started freaking out. Take the wig off, take the lashes off. Oh, I can't get the house, you know? <laughs> Stand out there naked, boom, 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 on the door, right? So, um, was your husband Drama. inside? No, he's sleeping. Hi, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, anyhow, so Stephanie, Riggi. Yes. How do you say it? Riggi? I like how you said it. Riggi. Riggi. <laughs> you can say Riggi. Just don't say Rigatoni. I used to get on Rigatoni. You know, so, so, back to the cooking thing. One last thing. Like, yes. was, was there any, like, uh, meal that you made on the show that, like, became historical? Well, I did a lot of 
like catering at that time when I was doing my cooking show. I mean, I'm hugely into food. Food is hugely into me. <laughs> Sorry. Join the club. And I'm sitting on it, right? I'm sitting on all my groceries, right? But um, I've always been like my in-laws, been cooking for the family. I'm always the food person. Now my brother-in-laws opened up a restaurant in Rutherford. I always forget the name of that place, Rutherford, but so it's kind of the weight's off me now. But um, I've always been cooking for everybody, and I've been, I catered for the Glammy Awards at that time at my show. I did a lot of catering. There was like 350 people there, and I did this out of my fourth floor walk-up in New York City. And it was kind of weird, you know? It's like, I remember once I went to Western Beef. Yeah, Western yeah. Beef, the new gay bar down the street, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and here I am. There's this guy who comes up to me, starts walking faster and faster. And he's like, excuse me, Mr. Spuch. I'm like, oh, oh, why are you like, thinking of my head away from me? You're stalking me. He goes, oh, I watch your show all the time. I'm going to be in your studio audience. And I'm thinking, studio audience? My kitchen is like five feet by five feet. How are you going to be my studio audience? I'm like, ah, shook it off. He goes, I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm like, oh, I'm not frightened. I'm just weird. Leave me alone. You know? <laughs> Another New York experience. Well, you still get your blueberry muffin, my love, for sharing thank your skeleton. You. And thank you so much for visiting. And Please Thanks. come again anytime. Oh, I'd love to I come back. Love your stuff. I'll come back with more art. That would be That's awesome. That's always changing. Yeah. Pee Wee Herman. I love Pee Wee. Yes. All right, thank you. you. Give it up. Thank for you. Thank 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 you